Hey, I told y'all I was gonna be doing a lot more talk videos. This isn't me plugging anything. Y'all don't need to go follow anything. This is just gonna be a genuine talk from me to you about how I feel and just how everything's been going, how y'all doing, plans for the future and stuff like that. So stick around, bro, if you're gonna listen. If not, hey, you can wait for the next gaming video, it's fine. But right now, I got some stuff on my bed, so let me move this out of the shot real quick. You know, this is just a chill video. I'm gonna do a lot more like this. If 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 y'all want to see more, drop a like if y'all want to see more chats. But let me let me put this stuff away real quick, bro, because I got shirts out here. Bro, do y'all do y'all be flipping through the, like flipping through y'all clothes to like see what to wear? Like, have y'all ever picked out an outfit? And like, okay, like, oh shit, I'm about to go out today. I'll go hang with the gang or something. You get dressed, you look in the mirror, like not even that. You get dressed, you put the cologne on. You look in the mirror, damn, this shirt don't, this shirt not too cool right now. You take off the cologne sprayed shirt, put on a new shirt. Oh yeah, this one hit. Put cologne on that one. Walk around for a little bit, look in the mirror again. Nah, the first shirt was cool. And then you got two cologne shirts and one got to go back. These two shirts, bro, was debating on what to wear. Don't know what to be wearing sometimes. But <laughs> let me put this up. See, this just, bro, just a chill stream. We chatting, bro. We chilling, we chatting. Voila. You know what's crazy? I said chill stream. This ain't no stream. All right, y'all. So, uh, look. Hey, I've been feeling good lately. I told, I tell y'all that a lot of times, but I would say for like the past week, <clears throat> for like the past week, coming up to a week, I've been trying to actually Focus on what I am actually blessed for, bro. I know a lot of people say, you know, I'm blessed or I'm blessed. You know, just say I'm blessed, but never know. Really, not not really even taking that into consideration. Like, they're actually blessed. Bro, lately I've just been like, like honing in and just focusing on like, bro, I have good clothes good jewelry bro H hats a good bed comfortable bed great lighting great scenery great camera great community a, a great mother bro love my mother to death bro love my mother to death bro i wouldn't know what to do without her i probably i'll probably be in jail because i probably i'll I'll probably i'll probably be there bro i'll be on timing with niggas i ain't gonna lie but just just focusing on being blessed bro and being thankful so in the comments i want y'all to put what y'all blessed for or what y'all thankful for it don't got to be thanksgiving for y'all to be blessed or thankful for stuff you know what i mean you don't got to wait to thanksgiving to say that but uh you know blessed thankful for my mother bro love that lady to death like i said blessed to still be alive able to have another chance every day waking up to a new day to try harder at something i love to do playing video games entertaining you guys i've been doing content creation since 2017 trying to make y'all laugh for almost seven years now and um that's me like, like i said for like a, the past week i've been focusing on the the fact that i i started this for enjoyment I wanted to get some good laughs in, troll throughout the story modes, talk crazy a little bit. I have too many like funny remarks and jokes that's always brewing in my mind. So that's why I always like display them through video games. And uh, I just want to tell y'all to chase y'all goals, man. Chase your goals. Like chase your goals, chase your dreams. Because I tell you what, at the end of your life cycle, bro. You not taking none of this shit with you. You not taking no girlfriends. You not taking no money, no toys, no music, no nothing. You it's just gonna be you. When it when it, when when it's all said and done, it's your deathbed, bro. You know, knock on wood that nobody goes anytime soon here watching this video. You know, but uh, I just want y'all to 
chase after what y'all love. I know life is hard. Life gets hard, especially when you get older. So if you're still in high school, middle school, have your fun while you can. Because I tell you, once you get out of high school, bro, nigga, life gonna punch you in your shit. Yeah, wake up. Get up. Yeah, that's finna be you. Get a job. Get some bills, bro. <laughs> Pay your taxes. Ah, yeah. You're, you're, it's your turn. You're coming, bro. So, learn from Unc Sly, wherever y'all want to call me. But, hey, I want y'all to chase after what y'all love to do. It's okay to work a 9 to 5 for some point in time. But I do not want y'all to focus on staying at a 9 to 5 for the rest of your life. While you're working at 9 to 5, put some time in to the side, like an hour or two, when you get off your job, doing something that you love doing. Build on that. Build on that. If you like making music, build on that for an hour or two a day. Get your homework done. Go to bed. Go to school. Come back. Hour or two on your music, your gaming. Your, your your photography, your drawings, whatever it is. You got to put time in for something you love. Because as you build on this, this 9 to 5 is going to provide for this. Because this is your income. You don't got to love your job. But you got to pay attention. Get your money. Don't make You don't got to make friends at your job. Go there. Get your money. Put some of that money into this. This is your goal. Put some job money into this, job money into this. If you got to pay a phone bill or you pay some rent where you stay, pay your rent, pay your phone bill. Say, let's say you working with $500, your rent, $300. This is just example. You're working with 500, your rent is 300 for your little room you paying. Pay your 300, your phone bills are $100 or whatever. I don't know who phone bill hundred dollars. Not mine, but your phone bill a hundred dollars. Pay that. That's four hundred gone. You got a hundred left. Spend fifty on your goal and put that other fifty in your savings. But you still well. Let's 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 take that hundred back from the bill. You got five hundred. You spend three on on your room. You got two hundred left. Fifty go to your phone bill. Fifty go to your goals. That's a hundred gone. You got a hundred dollars left. Put fifty away. You got 50 to play with. Food, bye 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 or whatever. Food is high, so but fifty dollars just for if in case you need to spend. Save fifty, spend fifty, rent, go. Save fifty, spend fifty, rent, go. And as as you build from that, bro, you're gonna get to this. You know, this is nothing like special, but y'all seen how I started. A Dell laptop with every socket in it plugged up, bro. All USBs plugged up, power cord in because that shit couldn't stay on because how much shit I was doing. <sniffs> USB ports plugged up, HDMI plugged up because I had to play Xbox on it. Rendering, editing, rendering, and playing games on that same damn Dell laptop I had from 2016 that I was using in 2017. Reacting, playing games, rendering a 30, rendering a 25 30 minute video for three hours nigga. It used to take me three hours to re render one reaction video Now rendering a video on this PC here that I'm blessed to have Take a 30 minute video same 30 minute video press render shit done in three minutes Shit done in five minutes Why was it three hours to render a 30 minute video bro? I was struggling struggling and I'm still on a grind hustling bro trying to eat every day, bro um, and this is the stuff I need to focus on It's and, and it feels good to like, know that I'm actually getting somewhere instead of being negative. Like, damn, I'm not this, I'm not this far yet. I don't got this car yet, bro. Why? I still ain't got these shoes. I don't got that much clothes. Damn. I ain't got a girlfriend. Damn. I ain't got no friends. Like, you know, you don't need none of that. A happy a humble, happy personality. Pay attention to what you got going on, bro. And you there. Grind. Focus. You don't need to be on none of these date naps. Because all it's going to do is slow you down. Because it's, it's money grabbing women on them bitches. And ladies, I know y'all watching this too. This is just to my fellas. Because I got 
85% men on this channel and like 15%, 10% women over here. So this is majority to my men, but y'all could take the same shit I'm saying and vice versa. But I don't think it's money grabbing niggas on no dating websites. It might be. I don't know. I'm not talking to niggas. I never have on there. So when I was on there, everybody on there, only fans, threesomes, looking for crazy shit. You know, it's a waste of your time. Don't get on there, bro. Find somebody in real life, bro. Go meet somebody at the mall, bro, or in the grocery store, bro. That's how I know y'all younger than me. Th those of you who don't understand what I mean by this, because y'all got social media. Well, we all got social media, but y'all scrolling and talking online. You you're most you're more likely to meet a, a real woman in public. One that's possibly that possibly won't cheat in public. They might steal, vice versa. Let's go for y'all two ladies. Men might cheat, but it's a better chance for you to meet a nigga at the grocery store than it is to on the app. Because there's so much ass on the app that you can scroll and see and see and see. What's stopping them from dating you but getting back on that app? You can't do that in the grocery store. You meet somebody from the grocery store. I mean, what's stopping them from going back to the grocery store and talking to somebody else, right? But it's in public, so it's more sketchy to even try to cheat like that. So you better off finding somebody in public at a at a park. Well, well, yeah, at a park or on a hike, just in public, bro. Like actual normal places, not like at a bank or anything. Don't talk to nobody at the fucking bank. Let them get their transactions in. Nobody wants to talk to you at the bank. <laughs> You money hungry mother, <laughs> but nah, bro. Um, make sure y'all put what y'all thankful for in the comments. Don't just be listening to me. I want to know how y'all doing. It could be family, friends, goals, girlfriend, shoes, bro. Whatever you feel like you thankful for and that you never had or you couldn't have, or whatever the case may be. Your dog, bro. Put it in the comments, cause we gonna have videos like this here and there where we all chat because we need talks like this. Y'all need to hear normal, actual, real conversation instead of just me trolling on games. Most of the shit I say on games be a troll, bro. I just be chatting. But this is real. But, uh, oh, DreamCon, bro. Bro, DreamCon. I've been telling myself I'm going to go to DreamCon since 2022. I ain't went yet. And I, and I also want to move to Texas. I know time soon, but it's just something about Texas that I enjoy. I feel like deep in me, bro, I got I got that country in me, boy. I got that country in me, my boy. Well, probably because my well, my grandma is part country and Irish, which is crazy. Fun fact, I've said this before a long time ago, I think. In public, everybody asks me. In my country, or am I for am I from Texas? Because of the way I talk, apparently, that I, I I sound a little country sometimes from the shit I be saying, and it'd be funny because when I bring it up, then I like re say the words to myself. Like, damn, that shit did sound like I was from Texas. I'm not from there, bro. From Los Angeles, Compton, California, bro. And uh, it's something about that, like just about I don't know. Probably because I feel like Texas is more real, like more real. Well, of course, Texas is more real than California. We spoiled. Niggas is spoiled in Cali. I ain't going to lie to you. We all spoiled out here, bro. Whether it's with money or just with the shit that we have in California. But, you know, every place has their own little culture and own things that they have going on. So, you know, that's why you don't catch me bashing any other state or country or Anything like that because everybody has their own different shit. And a lot of it's it's a blessing being from California. I'm not gonna lie, it's a blessing being born and raised in California. You know, a lot of people wish they were from California. Not saying where they from is terrible. It might be. I don't know. But I know a lot of people want to be from California or wants to live in California. And there's a lot of people from California who want to get the hell out of here. Like me. I want to live in Texas. But DreamCon, like I said, let's get back to that. I've been telling myself I want to go to DreamCon since 2022. That's 2024. I was I was going to go this year, 
But I think DreamCon is like in J July, right? Like next month, which is my birthday month. So I think it's a little bit too late for me to try to just jump on a DreamCon like wagon right now. I feel like I, if I aim for 2025, it should be better because then you guys know now that, oh, hey, Sly is going to be at DreamCon. Maybe I'll see him there. Maybe I can bring him a gift, a fan mail. Maybe we could talk or have a good conversation, handshake, take pictures, whatever the case may be. I don't know how y'all look at me as, bro. Maybe some of y'all see me as, some of y'all see me as your big brother. Some of y'all see me as your young brother. Some of y'all got a crush on a nigga. Some of y'all see me as your best friend, your homie. There's a lot of different things you guys see us content creators as. And I'm I'm saying that because obviously I've been well over 30K subs, 50K subs, 13K subs here on this channel. So I have a little bit of experience and a little bit of fans to call myself a content creator. I don't look at myself as anybody famous. Hell no. I just say that because obviously I'm some influencer to you guys. You guys watch me. You know what I mean? So it's a different perspective for us because I don't really know y'all because I can't see y'all, but y'all see me. It's, 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 it's kind of weird. I'm looking at this camera. Y'all is a camera. Y'all is a C920 Logitech camera to me, bro. And to y'all is me, Sly. <laughs> y'all see me. I don't see y'all. So it's like, when I meet y'all in person, it'll be like, um, it's it's always great to meet y'all. I met a handful of people, not too many, you know, because I don't go out that much anymore. But when I did, I seen a couple of people and it feels good. It feels good to see y'all. It's awkward to me because, bro, the first two people I met, I was nervous. Like they was the, oh shit, my glasses. Like they was the YouTuber, bro. They came up to me and I'm hot and sweaty like, Oh shit, like, bro, they, <laughs> first person came up to me, said, oh, I know you, bro, look, I'm gonna reenact it, look, came up to me, like these, like, with a sweater, I know you, I watch your videos a lot, I said, you do, bro, random, I'm lost, like, I don't do YouTube or something, you do? Yeah, I watch you all the time. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> Bro, I was confused the first interaction. Oh, that's what's up. Can I get a picture with you? Sure. She come next to me, bro. Take a picture. Take Come next to me. Still got the little sweater up like this. Got one hand up. No, I, did she put her hand up? I think she did. Or she just stood there. I don't know. But I said... <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail too, bruh. That's funny. That's what I did. Literally, it felt good after that though. But um, I don't want this video to be too long. It's only 18 minutes, but I just wanted to get in here, ramble to y'all a little bit, get some, get some good laughs out, some good conversation to y'all to let y'all know that everything's all right, bro. Um, not just with me, like just in general with life for all of us. Everything will be all right, bro. Some of y'all might be sad right now, depressed right now, going through a hard time right now. Uh, maybe a breakup. Maybe so, Maybe she cheated. Maybe he cheated. Maybe y'all going through a great time right now. Maybe you just got a new house, a new car, a new dog, a new best friend, a new boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, new subscribers on your channel, and you feeling great or you feeling down. And this video, hopefully this video gave you some clearance in your mind. That you're not the only one who go through emotions, bro. We all go through our ups and downs. We all go through our emotions. We all have our little phases where we feel like giving up, bro. Like, really. But I tell you right now. This world needs you just as much as you need the, the people in it around you. Trust me. The people who talk to you, they love you, bro. They probably don't say it. A lot of people don't say they love you anymore family a lot of family don't even say that anymore because i don't know i guess people feel like well it's not a feeling it's it's you know you're letting your guard down when you tell somebody you love them so some people look at that as weakness i don't know why but if you don't tell your parents you love them bro or your brothers sisters start telling them that trust me because when i lost my brother in 2022 rest his soul bro 
I miss him. Ooh, tears almost came flying, bro. I miss him every day, bro. Oh, man. Every time I bring that up, bro, <laughs> fight it out, bro. Because I'm not sad about it anymore, but it's just the fact that he's actually gone. So when I do bring it up, I feel sad like you're supposed to. But, you know, I made I made most peace, most peace with it. You know, I pray every day. And man, what is you looking at? Is you staring at me, bro? He's happy tears, bro. Happy tears. It's just when I bring that up, I feel crazy, bro. Because damn, my guy's gone, bro. Physically, mentally, spiritually, he here with me all the time. But just when I bring that up, bro, that shit hits me heavy. But uh, after that, after he passed, like I said, you driving your motorcycle while I'm talking? You straight. He got it. Every time I bring him up, bro, like in a real like conversation, I get teary. But, you know. That don't really stop me from serving niggas, bro. Like, don't play with me, bro. <laughs> Let me try not to make this moment something that it ain't. But uh, every time I bring them up, like, it's just, it's just a reminder, bro. Tell your family you love them because they gone randomly, bro. He was here one day, woke up, bro. The next day, he's leaving. Like, what the hell? Like that, bro, I, I'm telling you, it don't feel good if you never lost a family member, bro. That shit insane, bro. Like, insane, bro. Like, really. So start telling your family you love them. I wasn't expecting to have any tears in this video at all. I wasn't even expecting nothing like that, bro. But damn, that shit hit heavy, bro. And I could, I could always cut that part out. But for what? Who am I hiding my emotions from on my channel, on in front of my community that I built and grew? Stop, bro. Also, the join button is still here. I forgot to tell y'all that I'm going to be working on new custom emojis and custom emotes that I'm going to try to get from like Fiverr or some. If you guys know somebody who do it for, for, do it for the low, let me know, bro. If not, I'm still going to go to Fiverr, you know, get some good emojis made for y'all some good um milestones made for y'all so when y'all hit the join button those of you who are members thank you i appreciate y'all i'm a i'm gonna be upgrading the quality of the membership so i don't know it might reset y'all membership because i'm gonna put new stuff there but it's still gonna it's not gonna charge you again i don't think so just look, be on the lookout for the new member stuff hit the join button if you guys already haven't done so also, when I'm recording just normal videos, there's a super thanks button in the bottom. Yeah, I'm plugging donos now, bro, because why not? Let me let me let y'all know because I know a lot of y'all don't know that. There's a super thanks button on every video. And I don't have to be live. You can click on one of my videos right now. It says thanks at the bottom. Y'all could click that and actually donate to me and it will pop up on my OBS like I'm streaming. So I will see it still. <laughs> And if you guys do that, I will give y'all a shout out in the recent videos coming up. You know, y'all used to do it a lot in like early 2023. A couple of y'all did it and it was random, but it was it made me feel good because I woke up to like super thanks or it pop up on my phone like such and such super thanks you like what? But it made me feel good. That's all I just wanted to plug in. You know, I don't be asking y'all for donations, but they help me in the channel. That's all I wanted to talk about today, bro. It's been 25 minutes. I appreciate y'all for listening to the video. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to put... If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to put a purple heart. 
in the comment section. I love the color purple, bro. The color purple is great. It's a good movie, too. <laughs> but, hey, color purple if y'all made it to the end. I didn't expect to shed any tears, but I love y'all, bro. And there's going to be more talks like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.